Gondain Smeagolder yet again with a pretty pile. I think this is number 23. So, um, yeah. I, I tried to be productive this week. So, um, actually, um, yes. If you're new here, hi, thank, hello. Um, my name is Gondain. I'm an Icelander in Iceland. I discovered a, 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 a while ago that apparently I'm a Yarnaholic. Miss, if you don't know what that is, it's fun. <laughs> so yeah, um, I made the discovery that I really like yarn, all kinds of yarn. In Iceland, we have um, Icelandic wool. Um, in case you have never heard about Icelandic wool, um, <laughs> it's fun. Um, but yeah, I grew up on Icelandic wool, and it's a very good. It's, it is a very good fiber to work with. It's um, I have nothing com to complain about it except that you know wool is itchy and there. But then I made the discovery that oh hey look at the whole white world. It has a lot of yarn, so much yarn, so many different types. It's like angora and merino and chunky and lacy and man-made fibers and it bamboo bamboo bamboo. If you never touch bamboo, like pure bamboo, just yarn, it's it's heaven in a yarn, okay? It's just put it like that. But anyway, yes, I'm a yarnaholic, <laughs> and in these little chit chats of mine, I talk about yarn. I talk about what I'm working on. I do both knitting and crochet. Do try to have you know, two projects on the go at the same time, one knitting, one crochet. Because that's how I'm raised. <laughs> and yeah. And, you know, maybe some little ch chit chats about like the weather, what's going on with, um, I don't know, maybe things happening in Iceland. And, you know, just a little chit chat. So, yeah. Hello! Alright, so. I wasn't very productive this week. <laughs> no, mm, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But yeah, so I forgot to close the window. <laughs> close the window. So, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, yesterday, Saturday, I had this week I had the plan that on Saturday I was gonna be so productive when it came to knitting, I was gonna be just. Speeding on! I keep forgetting that Saturdays my brain just goes, you know what? We're gonna calm down, we're gonna just relax and just not worry about anything. Saturdays are my calm down days, they're my, my, my relaxing days. I keep forgetting that. So yesterday, I mean I did the laundry and I did vacuum the flat but other than that, my brain just went, mm, yeah, we're kind of going to forget that there's a white world out there. We're just going to relax, ground ourselves, and just not worry about anything. So I didn't even pick up my stitching yesterday. And I don't know why I feel guilty, but why do you feel guilty about it? Like, it's so weird. It's not... This is a hobby. It's not like my life depends on it. It's not like... It's something I have to do, it's just something I like to do. But when I don't do it, I'm. yeah, I don't get it. Why? Mm. Anyway. Boop. So, all oh, rambling aside, I did do a little bit. Yay! Oh! For example, I bought this basket because um, I showed you this last week. Got a little bit more done. So I am crocheting a very very big rectangle. It's probably gonna be about a meter in length. With? With. Sorry, with. And I mean I have finished the two skins I so showed you some two skins. Hmm. Anyway, I finished two of these skins. So next ones are up. The thing about these is that they jump around a lot. And I've been spending the last what week? Week and a bit. Thinking, oh dear, I wish I had a basket, but I can't empty any of the baskets that I have because they are all in use. My shop actually has had these, like, felted baskets for I don't know how, 
how how long it's probably around a year and I didn't remember until this week I'm like oh yeah that, there's a thing that I keep seeing multiple times a day how about I buy one of them and use them very very handy so yeah so um I'm gonna link the pattern down below it's a very very simple one it's originally from Lion Brand but the pattern isn't on their website anymore um, but 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 there's a lovely human being called Emma who has it on her page and I'm gonna as I said I'm gonna link it down below because it's super easy um, now I'm gonna get my tape because I cannot remember what a meter is in feet it's almost it well it's 39 inches and almost a half so a wee bit yeah and I am using a seven millimeter crochet hook and I am the yarn I'm using is from Aishons it's from their winter sale they aren't, don't have it on the web page anymore but it's really really nice yarn and I have four packages of these in each packet is um, eight balls so I'm gonna finish my yarn with this project. It's gonna be so much cool. It's gonna be a punch. No, wait, not a punch. It's gonna be a, 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 a cocoon, cocoon, cardigan, cocoon, cardigan. Now I did find my um, <sighs> words. Excited. Whew. I do have one cocoon cardigan that I bought, 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 bought years ago, and I can't remember from whom. It might be have been seen. It might have been I don't know boohoo or I can't remember. I cannot remember where I get my clothes from. I just know, know it's made in China and it's made from 100% acrylic, but I have this slouchy cocoon cardigan with sleeves that always annoy me because, I don't know, this seems always like twist and turn, Does it's a little bit annoying, but the cardigan itself is so nice and warm, so I want to make my own with my own yarn as you can see so it's just it's, it's gonna be thick and nice and warm and I'm gonna love it so there's that and this for the just moments before I started re you know recording this video um I got back to work on my classroom class <sighs> so this is one thing I am Icelandic I pronounce things in Icelandic way like obviously um, but I'm making these videos in English and I'm talking about a pattern that's originally named in I think Danish so <laughs> I keep trying to pronounce the name like in an English way but then my, my brain just goes why and I haven't got an answer for it just like it's weird but it's called Klasso let's just go with that silly pronunciation that's just that works fine with me I'm gonna link it down below it's a it's also Blah. <laughs> it's also a free pattern and I love it. Um, you do knit on 15, 12 and 15 millimeter needles. Um, and I can't remember what what it is in American. I remember it last week, but can't remember now. I mean, okay, tw yeah, yeah, 12 millimeter like these are a US size 17 which means that a 15 millimeter is a size what was it 19 so um, it feels a lot like you knitting with drumsticks so it's a bit weird but it's fun um, the original pattern calls for a uh, drops melody which is made out of alpaca, wool, and I think acrylic. And I've seen, I think I've seen the yarn, and it's, it's a wonderful soft, kind of, a little bit fluffy and droopy kind of yarn. I don't have that. I do have my ice yarns. It's my Merino Chunky. And 
Uh, I'm going to get the third color. Madam. So, this so far I've gotten is a Raglan Raglan sleep shirt. Shirt. Ah, pull over. I finished the pizza. I literally just got started on the white, and that's gonna be. I mean, this part is about 15 centimeters, and the white part is gonna be about 24 centimeters. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna have this. Or it's it. It's kind of like a. Oh, a lovely lilac-y, plummy kind of color. And I can't wait. So yeah, I mean... It is super simple to make. But, um... I have a bit of a small hand problem. <laughs> um, so knitting with these 50mm, I mean it's not diff, it's not impossible, but it's a little, it's a little, um, it's a little difficult. Like, I definitely feel a strain in my, like this part of my hand and my thumb and down here a little bit because this is the part that I hold with and I'm trying not to, also a little bit up here, but okay, um, and I'm trying not to like, Grip it with a death grip, but I mean, they're a bit big. But but on a happy note, I mean, I'm I'm not putting a lot of work as I as I could be, but it's still, sort of quick project. Like if any of you are capable of keeping to a thing and just focus on the thing, I can't. That's just a fact of life, I, I'm trying to live with it. But if you can focus, this kind of uh, pullover is definitely like a weekend project. Like, definitely. This, this pattern is so simple to follow. It's so easy. Um, and when you're knitting with like... We have these three skeins of chunky yarn. You hold three threads of chunky yarn together, making it a super bulky. And when you're knitting with something this bulky, it's just a quick work. And it's such a delight because even when you have this attention thingy when you can't quite like focus as much as you would maybe like, you still see such a lot of a lot of progress. Like I am this much done. I can't focus, but I got this much done. I mean, it's so thick and so nice, and I am absolutely positive. Oh, also, it has a little bit of give, but anyway. So, so it's going I'm gonna be so happy when I'm done with it because I will have finished a big project. <sighs> but on the side note, my mother and I have been obviously talking about the upcoming winter and my paranoia every single fall, every fall. I get paranoid about it be getting cold, which honestly it hasn't been super cold and nice for like decades. I'm worried about it snowing. It doesn't really snow a lot until a later part in the like in the beginning of next year probably. That's how the pattern has been in the past years. But my biggest concern is that it's going to be icy, and um, again, that's probably not going to happen until the later part of winter. So. But still, I get this, just my old paranoia that, you know, winter is coming, it's gonna get cold. And now I have my knitting needles, I have so much yarn, I have patterns. I can make myself warm sweaters. And, you know, a whole heap of shawls and, and scarves and hats. Maybe mittens. I need to try mittens. I should try mittens. But yeah, I can do all these things, and the fact that I have all these things, it actually making my yearly anxiety for the coming winter a little bit more bearable. I'm like, I'm calmer. Yeah. Oh, but but other news. Um, <clears throat> you remember from last week? Uh, blah, 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 last weekend, I was talking about getting a new camera. 
because this camera kept shutting you know it just mm, you know what it did theory I love you but mm, it kept shutting me off just the memory card got filled up the battery was down and blah I did order a new camera like an actual video camera last Monday uh, I got the shipping notica notification from Amazon on Thursday. I mean, obviously, there's a little bit of a thing called the worldwide pandemic going on. So their shipping is a little bit slow. And they are expecting it to arrive to me on Monday. So hopefully, hopefully, for this camera sake and my sanity, this should be hopefully last time I use this camera to record these videos. Then I can start using this camera to actually take pictures like the plan was <laughs> so yeah um i do have another confession to make see um the 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 um, wonderful bag of day lady whose name i cannot recall right this moment because i'm awful with names i'm sorry see see i um, i saw that she had a whole video from um, your inspirations and hobby and she was getting some cute things and I'm like, oh, I want to check out what Hoppy has because she had these like lucky bags and I was pretty certain that they were out of the bags and they were out of the bags but I saw something else that was on sale and I, I ordered it. I wasn't gonna order any more yarn because heaven knows and you all know I have enough already. But they were on discount. Still pretty expensive. Didn't order a lot though. Um, <laughs> I can't remember the names, but I did order one one cake of really, really gorgeous colors. Oh, they were like uh, I can't remember the name, but it was like Emperor something. It was absolutely gorgeous cake. But the 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 yarn that I definitely splurged on. Um, really really pretty and I did order four hangs of it because I want to make something like an, maybe not a fancy sweater out of it I I I am going to show you when it arrives it's gonna be another video and I really hope that it's as pretty as the pictures because I can't I can't remember why can't I remember names uh, I can't even remember the fiber content. I just remember that it's hand dyed by a lady in Istanbul, and the colors were so pretty. Like, yes, it's worth it. Like, so yeah, I ordered yarn and I wasn't going to order yarn, but I did because it's pretty. So that's my confession. So, in conclusion, I have officially broken my yarn dyed restrictions all in the name of beautiful hand dyed yarn so excuses um, my new camera is hopefully arriving on Wednesday hopefully fingers crossed I got a basket under my crochet project so that the little balls aren't like poof all over the place if I had a cat that cat would be absolutely in yarn heaven be rolling all over the floor just I don't need a cat, I'm not a cat anyway. So, and I started on the whites on the reglam pullover. Glasso. See ya! Yay! I did accomplish something this week. Whoop! See ya! So, I, where, for some very odd reason, I decided in the last past week I was gonna be so productive. I, no, actually, yes, I was productive. I was productive in my own mental stability by relaxing and not putting pressure on myself to do something that I didn't need to do and that's something that I still need to learn I have the right to have a relaxing day I have the right I am permitted to just relax do the things that need to be done but not always put the pressure on myself to keep just being productive because that's that's just not my brain. My brain is not wired to be like boom, 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 boom. I can do that work. 
no problem. But when I'm at home, home is to home is for relaxing and yeah. Anyway, so yeah. this is what I have accomplished this week. I am very very happy. So yeah. And as usual, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bless bless.